All right, what is going on, everybody? Uh, the Bears have just won 12 to 10. This is Matt Eberflus's first win in the NFC North ever. Matt, you got to be super excited about that. You probably oh, can. yeah. I'm so excited. I've sent a petition in. Matt Eberflus is uh, going to grow a mustache for you oh. uh, just in case. And he asked that I call him Dylan going oh. forward. So uh, good news. Please, good news. come on, man. <laughs> Um, so, what do you think? Uh, what do you think about this uh, this uh, Justin Fields game? Oh, uh, I I don't know if I can talk about it. Okay, okay, but at least he got us downfield in the last two minutes. Yep. So he got his, He technically did his job. Did do he did do his job? Twenty seven of thirty seven for two hundred and seventeen yards. Twelve rushes for forty yards. Um, no no touchdown and a uh, couple of sweet 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 fumbles. I know uh, you love that. <laughs> I, 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 I like the fact. Here's, here's, here's the problem that I've maintained the whole time. The number one issue with Justin Fields is controlling the ball and controlling the narrative at yeah. the end of games. At the end of the game last week, he should not have had to be put in that position, but he was. But when you're put, in, <clears throat> when you're put in that position, you have to perform. You have to make the play. And the very first play, <clears throat> it's not even a blindside sack. He's getting sacked from the front, yeah. and he doesn't see this person coming into his face. He gets sacked, he loses the ball, and that's it, game over. Uh, this week, he doesn't protect the ball, and he fumbles. Then he come, they come, we hold, we hold them uh, to uh, what I want to say, uh, no score at that point, and then he gets the ball back, and then he fumbles it away again two plays into that drive. This is becoming the norm for – JF1, QB1, uh, Fumble Ruski1, whatever you want to call him at this point. Um, I, I, it's very difficult to look at 27 37 and say, well, bad game, but you can't keep giving the ball away, especially when your defense that owed you last week stepped up and got you four interceptions that you converted into three. Point. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. After that second fumble, I had tweeted and I was like, is Justin Fields going to be a Chicago Bear next year? Because, I mean, he has five games left. Past two have not looked good. And the, they haven't looked good when it really mattered. And that's scary because then you can't trust your quarterback in key situations. And I ha was telling you, I feel the coaching staff doesn't trust Justin Fields. And now... Yeah, I mean, this is three fumbles in the last five minutes of two back-to-back -back games. Like, what is he, what point? He's not letting. Like, I'm worried to keep defending him, honestly. So, the the big knock the the big knock was that the coaches were not letting Justin be Justin. But this is what you get when Justin is Justin. When it's when it's game time, that's when you have an opportunity to show what you can do. This is a testament of who you are with the game on the line when you're closing it out and. You know, I, I don't want to call it back to Tyson Bajant, but he, he's a calmer person under pressure. Yeah. And now you have a comparison. Not to say that Tyson Bajant didn't give up, I want to say, five turnovers in one game. So it's, it's not like we're comparing uh, Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady to Justin Fields. We're just comparing. Uh, but the, I mean, at least at least. Now they're tied in victory. Okay. So okay. Point. So this morning, my uncle had texted me and he was like, Justin Fields, when he is a starter, I think he's six and 26. Yeah. I, not good. Justin Fields, when he's on the bench and the other, like his subs are in, they're six and seven. Yes. Oh, no. I, I want to defend Justin Fields so badly. I really do. But, it, you know, today's the last five minutes are just really worrisome. And I think that we all want to defend Justin Fields. Um, yeah. It's, uh, He's a man of great character. He's a great player. He's a talent. And he does a lot for the Chicago community. Yeah. So it's very tough to get down on Justin Field overall as a person, as a human being. But as a football player, he's had some struggles. And, you know, we've had some videos out there. And some of those videos have gone viral of people really supporting Justin Fields recently. And the end result of all of that support is this is, are we finding out that this is who Justin Fields is? Is this just as good as it gets? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I still think I have five more games, you know, to still defend my word. Uh, yeah. But, you know, tonight is just not a, it, like I didn't, I'm not leaving this game like, well, I didn't play, but I'm not leaving the, like, the situation. And I'm just not feeling confident. It just doesn't feel like a good win. 
it does not feel like a good win. However, I mean, let's go back. Not every win, you know, we look at it this way because we want more. We, we've expected more. We demanded more of the team and we didn't get more from the team. But let's just take a step back and let's say, you know, there's four games out there that we probably should have yeah. been in and probably should have. So, you know, we're probably looking at the potential to be an eight and four team. And if that were the case, then we would be looking at this and we would be saying to ourselves, hey, survive in advance is what yeah. And we wouldn't be so critical of Justin Fields. And I can't wait this week to see Chase Daniel break down what's going on on the field. I feel like when I was looking at some of the camera angles that I was seeing players wide open. There was one moment towards the end of the game, Equinemius St. Brown is standing wide open on the sidelines, begging for the ball to be thrown to him. Justin Fields is just not finding him. Now that stands out because the, the cameras caught it, but you know how many times a game is he missing his, his progression reads and not getting to the people because it's the footsteps, it's his lack of, you know, um, and, and of course he did overthrow a little bit. He wasn't exactly, you know, he, he wasn't accurate as, or as, let me rephrase that. He was pretty accurate tonight. 27 37 says pretty accurate. Yeah. But when it came time to make some big plays, he, he missed a little. He, he, it's maybe he's just nervous and he doesn't perform well under pressure. Maybe that's, we just have to accept that, that, uh, as long well, as... I don't. I don't think we should accept that. <laughs> you know, like I, I just at this level now, it's like next man up. Who is gonna concave to pressure? Who's gonna live up to the moment? Uh, I wanted to say maybe Justin Fields doesn't know how to look downfield because he runs so many screen plays, so he's just playing laterally instead. <laughs> or and, and he, so he's not allowed to audible because he's not. You know, the the coaching staff doesn't trust him to call out of those plays. So he is he is being fed those plays and yeah. we look at them and we're like how are you still doing this in the fourth quarter with an alarming frequency uh, I understand trying to get Darnell Mooney the ball or trying to get DJ Moore the ball I, I understand that but doing the same play over and over again is probably it's, it's probably going to be caught and it got caught and, <laughs> and in the second half there was no yardage to be had there it actually was it's a negative yardage play. and we still got call after call after call after call, and you know I want to say the 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 off the 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 uh, the running game the running game really started to step up. Like they were hitting six yard runs on first down. That's exactly yeah. what you want short distance on second and third down. That's what you need to have, and that's what they were doing. And for some reason, um, Luke Getzey just I, I I all I can say is Luke Getzey still got it. There's too he much obvious. There were too many obvious problems. Mm -hmm. So. Are you happy that we got a win? I mean, I'm always going to be happy, you know, winning it, at least like we won. I don't care how ugly it is. It's nice to win. Um, but it just seems like we took two steps forward now with the defense this week. Like it really, it, defense played really well, I thought. And then offense, like we go from what, 20 six last week 26 points last week to not even scoring a touchdown Ooh, so exciting so i don't know the offense is it's extremely consistent. what if matt eberflus comes out to the press conference tonight and says i told all you mfers what's up now what y'all got i what do you mean i'm gonna i'm gonna literally rip him to shreds on twitter <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna do that um one other thing did anybody else see because you know I'm posting it all over the place. Did anybody else see Luke Getze picking his nose <laughs> in the first quarter? That is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like when you texted is, me, I was like, there's no way. This dude is digging for gold. That's got to be the, the thumbnail. On. It's got to be the thumbnail. Digging for wins. Digging yeah, for <laughs> that's right. Um, I, I think the meme that I put out, Let me let me go find it. Um, the, the, the meme that I put out was horrible, of course, uh, Shut up. but he, uh, I mean, he, he, he earned that one. There we go. Uh, <laughs> a bad play. I put his nose as a bad play and then a good play on the chart. And then his arm is Luke. <laughs> he is just in there farming. Yeah. That, that <laughs> that he's trying crazy. to figure out what play he's going to, he's going to run next. Yeah. So, um, we got to win. Uh, let's let's just be happy. We'll enjoy tonight, and then uh, breathe deeply, enjoy the moment, be happy that we got the victory, and then 
we'll see what happens over the next couple. Yeah, we'll see. All right. All right, guys. That's it for right now. Um, my name's Believes. I'm Eddie. And we'll talk to you again.